Good morning, or good, good late morning now. Um, I'm Julia Grace. I'm the head of infrastructure engineering at Slack. Slack is a messaging platform for teams, as Werner mentioned. We're the fastest growing enterprise SaaS company in history, with 5 million daily active users and hitting 150 million annual recurring revenue in under three years. Now, I was a really big Slack fan before I started working at Slack. I co-founded a startup, and in my capacity as CTO, I was always looking for new ways for my company to work better together. We started using Slack very soon after it came out of public beta, and it completely transformed how we collaborated. I built apps on top of the Slack platform. I integrated Slack with Amazon's SNS, Simple Notification System. And once you go Slack, I couldn't go back. <laughs> About four years ago, I was at a conference, and I ran very serendipitously into Cal Henderson, who is our CTO. I remember grilling him about the back-end infrastructure of Slack. I was really curious how we scaled, how we reached that rapid growth rate and kept up with our customers. Little did I know, two years later, I would be the person running that team that maintains and keeps up with our rapid growth. Um, so for millions of people, Slack is the primary communication tool they use all day long. Now, for most other services, think of Facebook, think of Twitter, you're checking it quickly in between meetings. Uh, short, ephemeral sessions. But for Slack, our users are using Slack actively, often for 10 hours a day or more. For those 10 hours, they're talking much more than just to other people. And this is much more than just messages, although we do see billions of those a month. Um, the power of Slack comes from when you connect it with other services and tools that you use. So early adopters of Slack were often engineering teams, like I had described my own engineering team. People connected with GitHub, Jenkins. For myself, I connected up with, again, SNS, um, Zendesk, PagerDuty, our monitoring infrastructure. Suddenly, everything that I needed to understand not only what my team was working on, what we were doing, but everything that was happening with our business was in one place. Now imagine that fire hose of data, 10 hours a day, all of the messages, the notifications, the channels being created, new activity in those channels. Remembering that last unread message so when you go back to a channel, you can, you can catch up to where you last left off. Saving all of that fire hose of data, fanning it out to clients across the world, remembering those unread messages, managing all that data is incredibly, incredibly complex. Welcome to the world of infrastructure. We also send half of our me messages outside the US in different languages across the globe. We're located in every AWS location around the world. Now, AWS is a really critical part of how we have scaled Slack. Our founders previously founded Flickr, which sold to Yahoo, photo sharing site. In that time, they had to buy and rack their own servers. And so they knew when they started Slack that we needed to live, eat, breathe in the cloud. It created a robust foundation for all the things we then later decided to do years ahead. So, Here's an, here's an idea of how we use, an overview of how we use AWS. We have a preference for foundational services such as S3, EC2, CloudFront. We make heavy use of VPCs, and we're using i2 and now i3 instances. We run a lot of EMR, Elastic MapReduce clusters, big users of Hive, Spark, and especially Presto. Werner had talked about Athena. We're very, very excited about Athena. It has already allowed us to run complex queries that our current cluster size isn't capable of handling quickly. 
We're also pretty pumped up about the Athena APIs and integrating those into our analytics workflows. Now, this is a bit about how we've built Slack on AWS. And it's been so awesome to watch how people have then built businesses on top of Slack. With our platform, developers like myself, like before I even joined the company, you can build apps not only for your team, but to reach the millions of users that are currently using Slack. Our ecosystem has over 100,000 active developers. Our app directory launched a little over a year ago and already has 900 apps, and 90% of paid teams use apps. And I'm excited today to announce that AWS has integrated Lex with Slack. Amazon Lex is a set of APIs and an SDK that lets you take advantage of advanced AI and machine learning capabilities. It's powered, as Werner said, on the same deep learning technology as Alexa. Lex has dialogue and tools to let, allow you to monitor your bots and improve them over time. With Lex, building conversational bots is going to be so much simpler. We are so excited to see how, what you build. I am excited to build with it. I still build things, really. Um, AWS has really allowed us to do amazing, amazing things at scale. We couldn't be where we are today without them. My team at Slack is incredibly passionate about what we do, and we fundamentally believe that this is the future of work. Thank you so much.